Hello fellow vapors and welcome to the Dell Vapor Vape Reviews. Time for another hardware review and today we are reviewing the Geek Vape Obelisk 120 FC kit. So the Geek Vape Obelisk 120 FC kit, a brand new kit from Geek Vape most obviously. Now I've got the kit that comes with the Obelisk tank, but you can get this with the Zeus tank as well. Now this boasts a 3,700 milliamp hour internal battery, 15 minute fast charge, and around about 220 puffs from a single charge. You've got fast charge on this, so you can charge this in around about 15 minutes, but we'll be testing that out in this review today. Yes, we've got the stopwatch out and we will be looking how quickly this actually charges from when the battery is dead. So yeah, I've got the 0.4 ohm coil in here, also comes with a 0.2 ohm coil at 56 watts, airflow half open, let's take for a two. And that is how it vapes. And this Obelisk tank, before I go any further, has a 5.5 mil capacity. Absolutely blooming lovely. So what we're gonna do in the review today is take this down to the table, have a look at the mod at the tank, at the fast charging adapter and see how quickly it charges. We'll get it all set out for you, go through the screen and the menus and all that jazz and bring it up top, take it for a two and give my overall thoughts and opinions on it. So without further ado, I'm not gonna grab the box, I'm just gonna show you the mod and I will see you down at the table with the Geek Vape Obelisk 120 FC. So this is the Geek Vape Obelisk 120 FC kit. Now I've got the kit with the Obelisk tank on here, but you can get it with the Zeus tank or the Z tank on top as well. But we are reviewing the product that I have received today. So let's start with the tank. Now I haven't got many specs on the tank there, aren't much about, but you know, I think this is around about 4.5 milliliters in capacity, not quite sure though. So you've got your drip tip at the top there, that is an 810 size drip tip and the o-rings are located on the top cap side of things now this top cap has got a very nice geek vape logo ghosty ghosty on there and then when you lift that up um, it's got kind of like a child safe thing so you can't undo the tank so if you scroll it around and have a look whilst you're rotating it you'll find a little silver tab there and that shows you where to pull up and push back on the tank and you have got your little flappy vagina gasket on there where you can put your e-liquid through very very nice indeed no massive markings on here as well no massive branding or anything like that i really do like it and you've got two airflow ports on there cyc cyclops style and then you can go fully closed fully open and anywhere in between down at the base there you've got the obelisk tank lovely so you've got ce bin logo designed by geek vape made in china and you've got your positive 510 pin in the middle so if we undo that now you can take this coil out with the included tool but you don't have to you can take it out with your nails so let's have a closer look at the coils so this is a geek vape z series coil made in china and then you've got the specs there. So that's a 50 to 60 watts canthal, 0.4 ohms. And you can see that this is a mesh coil, very wide bore down there. Now the other included coil is exactly the same. It's a, well not exactly the same. It's a Z series coil once again, but it's 70 to 80 watts, 0.2 canthal mesh coil. So, you know, they're, they're not really all that different to be completely honest with you. Just two different types of mesh. Absolutely blooming wonderful. So I'll put one in there. We will put in the 0.4 ohm because that's what come with it. And the coil's going very easy. See those two little tabs there? You put the two little ears in like so. Push it in and you're good to go. Really good to go. Put that back on there like that lovely jubbly find the top cap make sure that's done up nice and tight to begin with and then find that little tab there push back and then fill up with your favorite e-liquid so i'm using zeus juice the black ice yes i am my favorite juice of choice so I'll just wipe my nib a little and push that into there and give it a fill up now this is a little bit difficult to get in there as you can see um, the top of your bottle butts up against that um, but you can kind of squeeze it in there. So just jam it in the hole and then give it a squeeze. Lovely jubbly. Once you're done with that, push the top cap back over like so. And you want to let that soak in for around about five to 10 minutes before vaping. Otherwise you will get a bit of a dry hit. So what we're going to do now is have a look at the Obelisk mod. 
So this is the obelisk mod and I've got mine in the black color here today. Let's start from the top and work our way down. 510 connector, no plate up here at all. It's nice and very smooth and a gold plated 510 positive pin, which is spring loaded down in the center there with your three securing screws. You've got geek vape on one side here. Now these panels do have kind of, you see all the lines going on here. They have a lot of lines going on, but because of my lighting, you can't see it too good but once you get it in the light it gives you kind of like a holographic thing on there it's got that on both sides obviously on this side you've got your usb type c charge port now the back is relatively smooth but if you look down there you've got a little bit of a dip coming out and that just makes it feel a little bit nicer in the hand which i do blooming like at the base there you've got a bit of serial number action and where it's made and all of that jazz if we go to the front you've got your fire button your screen minus plus button and the obelisk logo so let's click this five times and then this is your boot up screen you've got geek vape there and then this is your main screen now one thing before we go anywhere on here they say that this charges in around about 15 minutes with the included charger now i've got mine at battery low i really can't do any more on this so what i'm going to do is use the included power bank now this power or not power bank charge pack thing um so this charges all the way up to 20 volts um you know or max output 65 watts yeah so you can charge it super super fast if you wish you get a cable as well a double-ended micro uh, usb type c charge cable and um, you can also use that for on the go charging so this can be used as a power bank so what i'm going to do is plug this into the wall we're going to have this here with the screen facing up we're going to have my phone with the um the what's it called the blooming timer thing on it and let's see how quickly this does actually charge You've got what mode you're in at the top there, which is power. Below that, you've got your battery bar, your applied wattage, resistance, amps, voltage, and your puffs. Now, my puffs on that last battery was 196. Now, that was with firing an atomizer at around about 70 to 80 watts. Um, so that rounds out around about right. They do say about 220 puffs to a whole battery at roughly 60 watts, but that obviously will change depending on the amperage draw and all that jazz on there too so please take that into consideration so if we click the fire button at three times you can go through the different modes so we're in power mode there you've got temp control stainless steel tcr variable power curves bypass you've got otg charging so on the go charging you can use this as a power bank and then back into power you can also reset your ohms reset your puffs and then go back into power press and hold and then that will go white and you are ready to scroll through your wattage so the wattage goes all the way up to 120 watts can you round robin yes you can back to five watts and you can round robin in back to 120 watts so let's whack the tank back on at top there like so really nice combination of colors here like the matte black and the semi matte black sorry about the reflection but the white and the black on this um, is really playing havoc with the white balance but that is the fingerprint magnet that is the um, geek vape obelisk 120 um, so what we're going to do now is take this back up to facetime take it for a two and give my overall thoughts and opinions on it so we're back up top with the geek vape obelisk 120 fc we've got that tank on top there which is the obelisk tank we've got the 0.4 ohm core which is reading at 0.38 ohms i'm perfectly happy with that that's between 40 and 60 watts we've got it on my preferred wattage 56 watts so uh, what we're going to do is have the uh, airflow around about two thirds open and then we're going to take it for two and discuss flavor and clouds. Now the airflow is a little bit noisy, I will say that, and it's even noisier with the airflow fully open, but it is nice and smooth. I wouldn't say it's overly turbulent whatsoever. Now I have got an eight milligram in here at the moment, so I will be taking shorter toots on this, um, but with three milligram, it is absolutely blooming fine. Now the flavor on this, I wouldn't say it's absolutely amazing. I wouldn't say it's mind blowing flavor, but I'm gonna take another two. And I would say it's a nice rounded flavor. It's not average, it's above average, but I'll say it's around about a 7.5 out of 10. So let's crank this call up to the maximum wattage, which is 60 watts. Um, so we're gonna put it up to 60 watts. 
56, 62, 60 watts. Let's take that for a two and we'll have the airflow fully open. So let's go like that, let's go. You're getting a lot of plumage from that dense plumage, but the flavor is, you know, it's good. 7.5 out of 10 is good. It's not amazing, but it is good and it is acceptable flavor. So what I'm gonna do now is switch this out for the 0.2 ohm coal and I'll be back with you in a sec. So we're back with the 0.2 ohm coal in this bad boy, which is rated between 70 and 80 watts. I've got it at 76 watts, which is my preferred wattage on this. Airflow is fully open. Let's take that for a two. And we've got Zeus Juice, the black ice in here at the moment. Now I would say the airflow is a little bit quieter on this one and quite a bit smoother as well. Um, it's, it's not turbulent, but it just seems a little bit less fluttery, um, as I would say. But 76 watts is absolutely perfect for me on this call. Um, you're getting good flavor, very, very good flavor. You're getting, I would say, better than the 0.4 ohm call. I would say this is around about an 8 to 8.5 out of 10. Beautiful, but it gets even nicer once again when you crank the airflow down. Now, two thirds open um, is, has been where I've been vaping this coil at. Yeah, really damn nice, really damn nice indeed. Yes, I do like it. I like the flavor from this coil and I much prefer it over the other coil. So let's go through pros, cons and price and all that jazz once I come back in focus. So, so now we're back in focus, we can talk pros, cons and price on this thing. And we're gonna start with the tank and we'll start with the cons of the tank. My first con with the tank would be not the actual top fill mechanism, but the method and the angulation of the bottle and the accommodation of your nib. Now we all know that we need as much purchase of the nib inside of the flappy flaps to get the best amount of juice inside of the tank. Yes, you blooming do. Um, but with this it's a little bit awkward the tank doesn't slide far enough um, off to the side there and you can't get the right angle of the nib in there and you can't push it in hard enough now I like to push things in hard enough um, just so that it is nice and in there and you're getting a nice amount of juice in there a nice amount of purchase also a little bit difficult to find where that hole is uh, <laughs> yes it is um, you've got to lift up the flap and push it back to find the little marker on there to get your nib in um, which is a little bit blunt awkward another thing um, I'm not a t big fan of the flappy flaps on here I'm really not a fan but that is just personal preference another thing the airflow is a little bit noisy on that 0.4 ohm coil it's not massively noisy but it could be a little bit quieter but the 0.2 ohm coil is a lot better now out of the coils which one do I prefer I prefer the 0.2 ohm coil you're getting better flavor less airflow noise and overall I think it's a better all-rounder tank because you're getting around about 8 to 8.5 out of 10 flavor on that thing let's take it for another toot but with that better flavor you will be getting less battery life so take that into consideration. Now, if we go down to the mod, pros, cons of the mod. Now, if we're gonna talk about cons, I would say these shiny panels on the side are fingerprint blooming magnets. Yes, they do look nice when they're absolutely clean, um, but they do get fingerprints very, very quickly indeed. Um, anything else about the mod that I don't like? No, not really. You know, it's, it's quite a nice looking device to be completely honest with you. I think the battery life could be a little bit better though. Um, I know it's got 3,700 milliamp hour in there. I think they could have made that around about 4,000 in there to make it a little bit better uh, maybe a little bit more but obviously the better ba uh, more battery life the better the screen is nice and easy to read go through and navigate and all that it's got all the information you need on there no complex menus it's just nice and blooming simple and very very easy to read not that you can see it there and it just went off look at that bloody timing but you know I really do like the screen it is nice and bright the buttons are nice and clicky they do what they should do there's not a lot of lag in between pressing the fire button and it firing as well which is very very good indeed now let's go into that fast charge bloody thing now, overall, it is a good concept. You know, it do it does without those little base things that other fast charge devices are having. You can, of course, charge this normally by USB Type C. Um, you know, your 2.5 amp and stuff like that. But this, if you need to charge this in very, very quick time to 100%, say you're going on a night out or something like that, then you can put that on there 15 minutes and it should be done. Um, now, as we saw down below, I've done it in around about 14 minutes, and that was from around about 17% charged um so 14 minutes 
17%, you know, that does equate to around about 15 minutes, which, you know, I cannot complain about at all. It's doing what it says on the box. My only gripe with the fast charge thing is what it's going to do to your batteries. Now, um, obviously, we know low and slow is the best way to charge your batteries. So I wouldn't recommend doing this on every single charge. I'd recommend charging it normally. Um, but what it does to your batteries, no one will know, uh, not for a couple of months. Um, but this does get a little bit warm. It doesn't get hot or anything like that. Like, oh, I can't touch it. It just gets a little bit warm. But that's because it is trying to cram all that power in there in the shortest time possible. And it does get a little bit warm. That's how batteries work. They produce heat. Um, so, you know, make sure you're in the vicinity or in the same room or it's within eyesight when you are charging. Another good thing as well, you can charge other devices off of that fast charge thing, but obviously only do it if you need a quick bit of battery life. Obviously, um, I cannot recommend using it on your phone, but th there is the option there using it or any other devices. Only use it if you need it as a quick fast charge option. Don't use it all the blooming time because it's not going to do your batteries overly too well because obviously we know low and slow is the best way to preserve the battery life and recharge cycles and all that jazz. Another good thing as well on this, you have got on the go charging. So you can plug your USB cord in here and then plug it into your phone and charge your battery off of this device or any other Geek Vape device or any other vape device for that matter. But obviously as it's Geek Vape, any other Geek Vape device, which is very good. Now let's go on to price, the price of this at the moment. So the Geek Vape Obelisk 120 FCZ kit. This is from the Geek Vape store. If we go on this, it is priced at $99.90. So what is that? Around about 75 quid, um, 75 to 80 quid, possibly a little bit more. I'm not sure. I, I'm not doing the bloody equations here, but let's just say it's, it's 80 quid for argument's sake. Now, considering you're getting the charger with this as well, which is priced at $39.90, which is around about 25 to 30 quid, I would say in the back of my head, that really isn't an, a too bad price to, for a device. It does say up to $120, uh, $120, which I'm not sure what that is, but I can't find that $120 option on here. Um, but yeah, with the UK version um, charge, block thingy, $99.90. Um, so yeah, I think that is around about 85 uh, to 90 quid, which isn't too bad. Um, you can obviously buy it without that as well. So if we go back on here, um, with the mod without a fast charger, $79.90. Um, so you're just getting the mod, no charger, um, which is good. You know, you can charge it normally. And if you do want the charger separately, you can buy that for just uh, under $40, which is probably around about 32 to 35 quid. My estimate, um, I'm not a human blooming, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, currency converter, there we go. Um, but yeah, overall, what do I think to the Geek Vape Obelisk 120 FC kit. Overall, it's good. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it's not groundbreaking, but it's another step forward for the vaping world, which I do like. It's got this fast charge thing on there. You haven't got a bloody thing. You've got to put it on. You can charge it normally. You can charge it via USB Type-C. You can charge it on the fast charger and stuff like that, which I think is very good. The tank is above average. It's nothing mind-blowing, but it's good. Um, but overall, it, it's just a nice little bit of kit just to see Geek Vape doing something different that isn't from, you know, their rugged range and stuff like that the Aegis range it's really nice to see them doing something a little bit different which I do like and um, I can congratulate um, Geek Vape for doing something that isn't in the Aegis range and you know it fits nicely in the hand um, my only main gripe really is the airflow noise the filling method and the shiny panels at the side which do attract loads of fingerprints um, but overall the price you know it seems to be around about justified for what you are getting in the package which I can't complain about but obviously that does depend on the size of your wallet at the end of the day and that does differ from person to person at the end of the day. But regardless, I'd like to thank the lovely people at Geek Vape for sending this through for the purpose of review. I've been the Devil Vapor, and you've been watching Devil Vapor's Vape Views.